Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much, Bernie, and everyone at GPI for the wonderful honor of being presented with the 2008 Inspiration Award. I very much regret not being able to attend the World Stem Cell Summit and joining all of you tonight, but my heart is very much with you for what I'm sure is turning out to be a wonderful event. And it's my hope to be visiting Wisconsin, the birthplace of human embryonic stem cell research, sometime very soon. As many of you know, last year I had the opportunity to provide the keynote address at the Stem Cell Summit in Boston, sharing my personal perspective on how very essential and indeed how very life-saving stem cell research is. My commitment to this research lies in a spinal cord injury that I sustained 18 years ago that left me paralyzed from my neck down. But even more so, my commitment lies in the hundreds of millions of people who place their hopes in this research and the cures that might soon come out of it. I'm proud and deeply honored to help fight for and speak on behalf of these people. And it's the basis of the work that I'm doing right now. I recently founded a nonprofit organization called the Brooke Ellison Project, dedicated to providing education on and involvement in stem cell research, clarifying the misunderstandings and changing the nature of the public dialogue that has for far too long dominated the discussion. And just like other movements that have taken place in the past, so much of this work lies in how we connect with each other and how we get people to care about ideas, no matter how unfamiliar, when they have the potential to improve our lives. Our collective progress is based on the very notions of common responsibility and common concern. And I find it a privilege to help work towards them. It's with my utmost gratitude that I accept the 2008 Inspiration Award. For as long as I'm able, I'll continue to, to fight for this cause that I've invested my life in and believe so strongly in. The work is challenging, but not nearly as challenging as the difficulties that so many people face in their lives every day. And it's these people who I keep in mind. It is these people who are the true inspirations. And it is these people who ultimately gain their own sense of inspiration from all of you and the work that you're doing. Thank you again, Bernie, for this wonderful award. And I look forward to seeing all of you next year. Enjoy the rest of the summit.